Hey everybody, Paul and Amy here, and welcome back to Best Food Review Road Trip. Yeah, you know what? We were traveling east out of Southern California into Las Vegas, and we happened upon a ghost town, like for real. Yeah, the Calico Ghost Town. Yeah, in Calico, California. Apparently they have all kinds of touristy stuff here, some food. Mm -hmm. Let's go and check it out. Calico Ghost Town was once an Old West mining town. It sprung up in 1881 and it boomed till the mid 1890s. Now in the 50s, Walter Knotts, you might know him from Knotts Berry Farms, he revived all but five of the original buildings and um, really made it a place where people wanted to stop and visit. In fact, in 2005, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, made it an official ghost town and called it California's Silver Rush Town. So that's pretty exciting. If you want to visit, you can visit any day of the year from 9 to 5, except on Christmas Day when they close down. You know, we stopped for a beer, but then we looked at the lunch menu and we're hungry, so we decided to order something. We decided to eat outside, and the view out here is beautiful. Did you hear that train? <laughs> I heard it. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it here. This is the view that we have from where we're eating. Look at that. I think that train comes right along there. I wonder if it's going to be like Universal Studios. There'll be like explosions and... Giant gorillas. Yeah. That's oh, so wow. Cute. Yeah. What is that? This, my friends, is a quart of beer, not a pint, a quart. Yeah? What kind is it? Oh, this is Modelo. They did have a... Just a few options on draft, and you can get bottled beer too here. But when I I saw that they offered a quart of draft beer, I was like, heck yeah! Drinking it out of a jar, just like an old moonshiner. Whenever given the chance, I always try to order my beer out of a jar. <laughs> Whenever given the chance. <sighs> That's the Stella. They had four beers on draft. I don't remember the other two. We were a shop top and then like an IPA out of San Diego. We were so lucky and we got a campsite that's just down the hill from here. In fact, when you pay for a campsite, you can just walk right into the ghost town. You don't have to pay a separate admission, which kind of surprised me because admission's only $8 if you're just driving in for a day visit. The walk over here is actually really nice because you get to kind of traverse the rocky landscape. It's so different here, even just from where we just left. <gasps> There's the train. Oh yeah, check it out. <laughs> That's cool. We're gonna maybe need to take a ride on that, huh? Uh, we're definitely gonna take a ride okay. on that. Okay, you guys wanna go on a train ride? menu was pretty limited, but I did get a cheeseburger. And check out all this, cr I mean, it's like super crunchy bacon here. Now you had to pay a little extra for that I bacon. I did, I did, I paid a little extra for that. Um, but I was happy to see that I didn't have to get fries. I could get mashed potatoes and they put country gravy on it. Um, which, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Let's put the ingredients on here. Let's put a little bit of onion on there, but not too much. Now you see what, I got a smash burger it. Uh, what do you think of that? That's a pretty big burger. Holy moly. I wasn't to... expecting it to be that big. That's what she said. <laughs> oh 
<laughs> Look at all that. Look at all that hamburger meat. And those patties. Well, you got the double, right? I did. But that's still a lot of meat in there. And all that bacon. This is like this is like a heart attack special. I guess if we would have thrown an egg on it, then then it would have been the heart attack special. Mmm, that's good. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that. I don't know about you, but I love country gravy on just about everything. Now, I like to put hot sauce on it, but Amy doesn't, so I'm gonna eat a little bit first, and then I'll add to it. Let me see. Mm. So much better than a French fry. Okay, don't laugh at me, but I decided to get a tuna melt sandwich. It just sounded really yummy today. Um, and it came out exactly as I hoped. I love it when they toast the bread like this. Like it's, oh, that's good. You can tell they put, they put you can see where the butter was before it seared down. They put American cheese on it. There's tuna fish. And then they offered lettuce and pickles. She did ask me if I wanted to have all those things on there. So if that's not your uh, preference and you're visiting, that's fine. I decided to go with the French fries. We'll start with those. Hmm. That is good. Their French fries are slightly have like a little bit of breading on them. So they're yummy. Like have that extra crunch. I love it when they do that. Hmm. Okay. Look at that. That's a lot of tuna. It is. It is a lot of tuna. Let's take a bite. Hmm. That's good. Did you get so far? We are. Thanks for checking in. You know, I don't get a lot of tuna melt, so I don't have a lot of, to compare it with. When, when have I got a tuna melt? Not very often, but they're good. I Should like I get them. get more tuna melts, people? I don't know. This is pretty good. One more bite. Hmm. <laughs> mm, all right, it's toasted. Try it out. Are those green chilies on there? No, they're pickles. Oh, they don't just have pickles on there, does it? Maybe Something it's mixed had... in with the tuna. Maybe. It doesn't taste oh, no. like hot. I should, I should bite it again, just to see. You must like it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. I mean, they're pickles, but it's tasting like there was something a little spicier in there, but what do I know? Look at the size of that fry. If I hold it like this, it's almost as big as my head, even bigger than my head. <laughs> See that? That's a huge fry. All right. Crunchy. Tastes like a French fry. Thank you for not adding hot sauce first. You're welcome. Mm. Am I good? You know, the right mashed potatoes, they just melt in your mouth, and those did that. And they're, very... not, and they're not, the gravy's not overly chunky or no. anything. It's just no, very no, no, smooth. No, no, no. This is a big hamburger. I think it's worth it, like, you know, paying for the double with the bacon. Mm -hmm. You're going to pay what you usually do at a hamburger place. If you don't eat all that stuff, it's actually really affordable. Yeah, and it wasn't that expensive as far as for like a mm -hmm. touristy type place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, look at that. She's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm. Mm. It's okay. You know, I checked this place out on Google and didn't get like really high marks. I understand why. This is not, you know, you don't come to Calico Ghost Town to eat, but you come to Calico Ghost Town to have a great day and you can eat while you're here and it's good food. But There's I don't think people come out of their way, like the restaurant's not the draw. I would go out of my way to drink that quart of beer. In fact, <sighs> I might go out of my way again to come back here and drink another quart of beer. <laughs> so what did we think of the Calico House restaurant? We thought it was good. I mean, the food was mediocre, but any kind of rating has nothing to reflect on the service. The service was amazing. Like their timing is impeccable here. Super friendly. I don't know, and they, um, I like how they dress a little bit, like period, you know what I mean? Like they have their, yeah, yeah like their ghost town clothes on. No, I thought they were really nice. Yeah. And I thought they were really, they got into our order really fast. It was great. It they was did. great. It was, it was great service. You know what, you don't expect great no. food when you come to places like this. You just expect to have something that you and the kids can eat. Yeah, and my tummy is full. Yeah, dude, that burger was big. full. <laughs> we really like Calico Ghost Town in general, and if you are driving out, like, 
east or west on the 15th between like Las Vegas and Los Angeles, you're gonna run into this just outside of Barstow, maybe about 15 minutes. So I highly suggest you popping in and checking this place out, it was a lot of fun. As always, we encourage you to check out your local food bank or food shelter and make some donations. It makes a huge impact on your community, especially for those in need. And it makes you feel good too. So until we dine together again, stay classy.